Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In this tutorial, guys, you are going to uh, learn how to connect to database in C Sharp or in Visual Studio. So, if you want to connect to database and you don't know how to do it, just follow these instructions. It's very simple. You just will go step by step, and you will definitely learn how to connect to database using C Sharp so to start with we need a project so uh, suppose my new windows form application now i'm selecting here project and make sure you are in uh, your language because i'm used to c sharp so i'm inside c sharp and in windows so here i'm going to select uh, suppose a windows application so give the name as database testing okay and okay so what will it will do is it will create a new windows form for us so you can see that this is a form here you can uh, include text boxes and whatever things you want to but at present we will focus on how to connect to database so let's begin the tutorial uh, and this is very important just follow our instructions step by step so first of all what you have to do is just you can see that here it's data just click on it and once you click on it you will see this many options here what you have to do is just go to add new data sources just click on it so a new window will be open like this this is data source configuration wizard make sure you are you have selected database here this is by default by the way if in case you are somewhere here make sure to select database and then select next okay data set next now here what you have to do is just click on this new connection okay and uh, in my case it is Microsoft SQL sometimes it may happen that it is something different so you can click on change and you can select Microsoft SQL Server Compact 3.5 make sure that you uh, select this okay and then click on ok and you can uh, head here to test the this connection before that before that first of all you have to locate your database uh, without locating you are not able to test your connection if you do so this connection cannot be tested because no database file has been specified definitely so what you have to do is just click on browse and uh, Visual Studio will take you to this path automatically if you are not uh, getting Northwing database so I'm going to uh, give this uh, URL link in the description section so you can check out this this is a common link and what you have to do is just select the Northwind and open so you have located your database now you can test the connection it won't show any errors yes test connection succeeded you can press ok and ok so you can see that the next button is now clickable so you can click next here it asks you the local files that is not in the current project will you like to copy make sure you click yes once you have done this you have to just click and make sure you have the stick yes save the connection as not win connection string next and then it's 
for drawing and then finish no database objects have been selected this result in empty are you sure you want to do this no because we have not selected any database so we have to select our database so for what we are going to make um, the database is are given here so you can see the categories here you have category ID name and all suppose I want to create a database for products okay so here it's given as product ID supplier ID category and I just want to select this you can select if you want if you have columns like product ID category ID product name and all so you can select it manually but suppose I want to select the entire entire this table so I can just select this and suppose and suppose you have to select the suppliers table so in my database there are two databases for product and for suppliers and what I have to do is now just click on finish so this will create your database and it will include tables for products and uh, suppliers so this is how you create the database one more thing as you can see that the form 1.cs is a form name okay guys so here you can see that north window sdf that's our database is now been created and what you have to do is just click here and cross check if you have this copy to output directory is copy if newer it's important that it is selected as copy if newer sometimes you may be uh, you may have by default as do not copy or copy always just make sure that you have selected copy if newer so this is how you create a database now you have created your database and connected to this form you can use this databases and you can insert these values so hope you like this tutorial thank you for watching please like subscribe comment below if you have any doubts thank you